So hello and welcome to the editing series of this channel. Today we will be editing a bright photo from the raw file and this is going to be a kind of workflow so if you guys want to follow along with me then that would be incredible. So basically this is how I edit a bright photo from a wedding. So let's jump onto the computer and then I'll show you how to get started. So at first let's click on the Lightroom application in our computer. So the app that I'm using is Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Classic app. Let's quickly switch on to the library tab of the Lightroom and then open the raw file. Just quickly drag and drop. It is that easy. So we'll wait for the Lightroom to import and then click import. So after the file is imported, we'll switch to the develop module of the Lightroom. So here we go. So the first thing that we want to make sure is the picture is aligned properly. So let's hit control and bracket key. And we're going to make sure the aspect ratio of the picture is correct. So let's change that from 16 to 9 to original 4 by 3 and then hit enter. And if you want to make sure the picture is aligned perfectly, hit the auto key. Align that for you. So let's click enter after that. So now let's start with the editing process. Okay. The first thing that we're going to make sure is we want to remove the pimple and the blackhead from the bright space because that is very important if you want to please your client and if you want to give a very aesthetic, pleasing, and natural looking picture. So let's zoom on to her forehead area. And then select spot removal tool. Select the size of the brush accordingly. And then let's begin by working around her forehead. You gotta make sure you choose the clone option. And then just click on the forehead area where pimples and blackhead are visible. You see these are the very minor accents but it will make a lot of impact on your final image. So let's move down to the nose and cheek area. Just gently work around this area to make sure there aren't any visible spots on our face before we start our actual editing process. So this looks perfect. Let's move down to her scene area. Again, select the spot removal tool and then begin working on the, all the visible area. You gotta make sure you don't overdo this because it might affect the quality of the picture. So gently, okay, now on to the neck area. So quickly head down to the this area and then begin working on this area as well. Just don't overdo it, right? Okay, then hit enter. So after we are done with the spot removal, we're gonna switch to the profile. So basically there are a lot of Adobe color profiles that Lightroom provides, but we gotta select Adobe standard because we want to make sure that we want a very true to life color. So Let's select the Adobe standard and then head all the way down to make sure the chromatic aberration and then enable profile correction is ticked. So now let's work on the skin smoothening part of the bride. We gotta make sure the zoom is kept to the working area. Now select the adjustment brush and then choose the effect to smooth skinning or soften skin. And select the marks overlay and then increase the size of your brush and then begin painting on the forehead and all the skin area that you want to smooth. Basically we work with the facial area. We don't want to smooth the hand and the other area so just paint around her face area.
Okay, I just gently paint around this area. Then hit done. You can see the visible effect, right? So you gotta make sure you want to cover the entire face. So select the adjustment brush once again, and then reduce the size of the brush, and then begin painting the lips area. So gently around this smaller area. And the contour of her face because that is very important. Gently stroke down the nose area. And then again the contour of her face. If you think the clarity is reduced too much, select the adjustment brush, select your point, and then reduce the clarity up to minus 70 if you think minus 100 is way too much. Select the adjustment brush once again, and select the other point, and bring the value to minus 70. And then hit enter. Okay, this looks... Nice. Let's quickly switch to the before and after view. See? So when we switch to the before and after view, we can see so much of work is done by smoothing the skin because that is what brings a true bridal character to the picture. Switch back to the look view. You gotta make sure this distraction it's tiny bit of so let's remove this white spot as well so for that select the spot removal tool and then select the size of the brush accordingly and hit click control z that was a bit misplaced point so i think okay now it looks perfect hit done now Let's work around her eye area. We want to make sure that we bring life to her eye area. So let's select the assessment brush. Select the effect to white. Select mask overlay. And then let's reduce the size of the brush. And then work around this white area of her eye. We want to make sure we brighten up this area. So quickly disable this area and then bring the white according to 30. Hit done and then check it from distance. Okay, this looks nice. We also want to make sure we work on the gaslight area around this part so select the adjustment brush once again and then gently paint around this area where the glass is hitting her eye and then gently increase the value to 30 and then hit enter so okay this looks nice now let's select the adjustment brush hit the clarity effect Select marks overlay and then gently paint around this area, around her eyebrow. The eyebrow and eyelash area is where we want to bring extra detail. So just work around this direction upward to her eye. And then let's bring some detail to this area. So okay, hit done. Okay, if you think it is over sharpened, quickly select the assessment brush and then select this point and bring the clarity value down 
to around 30 and then hit done so okay this looks more nice quickly select the before and after view let's see how much lordening and sharpening is done okay so this is okay so this looks okay so switch back to the default view now select the final adjustment brush set the effect to clarity increase the size of the brush a bit and then paint around this area around her hair area we want to bring slight detail to her hair so just paint around her hair area and then hit done i think that looks over sharpened so select the assessment brush and bring the clarity to around 25 for this 25 okay this looks nice select the adjustment brush once again to work around the lower area of her hair then you repent all the hair area and then hit done okay so that brings a bit a sign and then shadow area of the hair let's quickly switch on to the before and after view to see if this is over sharpened or overworked this looks perfect to me so let's switch back to the default view now we will be starting with the tonal area of the image uh let's just bring the exposure to a slight slightly brighten up the exposure area and then reduce the highlight area exactly around the white area according to your choice so i'm gonna keep it to minus seven and then let's keep the value of the black to minus ten we want to make sure the white and the black are aesthetically pleasing to our eye so let's Increase the saturation to no more than 4. And then we want to play around with our tone curve. To make sure the contrast of our image is perfect. So okay, this looks nice to me. Now let's work on to the color part of the image. So let's increase the luminance of the red a bit and then the yellow and then the green now on to the saturation part we'll work around the orange area because that is what highlights the color of the skin so let's increase the luminance of the orange a bit okay that looks nice let's switch on to before and after to see how much we are happy with our work so okay this looks nice now let's bring the color grading part of the image and then increase the midpoint a bit and then we want to play around with shadow and then highlight area a bit don't overdo this area right because it will mess up your image so and highlight okay i'm going to keep it to minus five okay minus five now this increase the value of sharp by two points so okay 42 is the value I'm happy with for this image. Let's walk around the calibration area of the hue. It all depends on if you want the picture to be warm or on the cooler side. Let's increase the value by plus 4 for this and then the rest looks okay for me. 
let's bring the value of this curve a bit down so okay, now I like the contrast of this image so okay, I think this looks perfect to me let's just quickly reduce the saturation of the orange because I think that is overdone okay This looks perfect. So yeah, this is pretty much it. The quick bridal photo edit in the Lightroom. So when you are happy with all the edit, click on export. And then select the image format to JPEG and color space to Adobe RGB, okay, because that is what brings extra color to the image, quality to 100, resolution 400, and then we don't want watermark for now. So click on export. So here is our final image. picture that you would be happy to deliver to the bride. So look at those details and our eye area. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is how I edit a bride photo from a wedding. And that was a quick walk along uh, editing process in the Lightroom. So yeah. <laughs>